can you use a projector as your primary uh, monitor? Well, uh, the short answer is yes, you can. But there are uh, a couple of things that you should uh, consider. Uh, this 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 projector you see here is uh, BenQ GP10. It's a LED projector. I think it's uh, 500 lumens. Uh, the brightness rating. And uh, before the LED uh, projectors, uh, cheap, affordable ones hit the market, or before there were any LED projectors, uh, it was um, almost. Well, it was impractical to use a conventional projector as your primary monitor because uh, those light bulbs, those light sources, were very power hungry, used a lot of uh, power, and they also burned out quickly. So you had to change them every uh, couple of thousand hours. But uh, thanks to the <laughs> wonders and magic of technology uh, and the LED uh, technology. Now we have a power efficient light source, uh, special diodes, very powerful, very bright, but uh, don't use a lot of uh, electricity and they don't have this short uh, operational life. Uh, they are rated for a couple of tens of thousands of hours and they don't tend to get uh, dimmer uh, over time. So, naturally, uh, when you look at the prices of uh, large LCD monitors or plasma screens, which are still on the market, which are wonderful, by the way, uh, you, would, you would be tempted to consider, well, maybe I can get uh, a projector for the same price that I uh, that I'll pay for a 40 inch or a 37 or smaller monitor and with a projector you can get comfortably get a screen up to 140 inches in diagonal uh, it really depends on the brightness how bright it is the, the, the larger projection you want, the more brightness you need, the more power you need from the projector. But for the same price, you can get the projector and uh, maybe you can use it as a monitor. Uh, run it all day, uh, 10 hours a day, every day. Uh, and, um, well, actually you can. And I've done, done this uh, over the past year or so. And uh, I've clocked a lot of hours on this uh, this projector. And, uh, well, let's say it wasn't without problems. But let's first look at the disadvantages that you, you have when if you choose to use a projector uh, as a monitor. First of all, and the most obvious, is that a projector is a low contrast uh, display device. Uh, the quality of the images will be nowhere near that you get from even the cheapest LCDs simply because the contrast is not there. The manufacturers might state uh, huge contrast ratios like 1 to 10,000 or something on their product spec sheet but that's meaningless crap <laughs> because they are listing uh, they are listing the Dynam what they call dynamic contrast, which is basically nothing. You just turn it off, measure <laughs> measure the the luminosity of the screen, turn it on full 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 brightness uh, white, and then measure again. Well, that means nothing. So, regardless which projector you choose, the contrast will be nowhere near that of uh, LCD, and not to mention CRT or plasma or OLED but uh, OLEDs are very expensive, of course. So you will lose uh, dramatically picture quality. And um, if, if you wish to do uh, image editing or uh, video editing and things like that, this is, not, this is not a viable alternative, simply because of the con lack of contrast. Uh, 
what what, what other disadvantages uh, of course you will need uh, to have your room you will re you will have to reduce the, the the level of light that you have in your room and uh, if you if for instance uh, if you don't have a very uh, good blinds on your uh, windows and you cannot cover all the light that's coming in uh, you will have a hard time in summer when there's a lot of light uh, during the day you will basically it can be useless <laughs> this projector if you cannot cover the windows properly uh, useless during the day when the sun is out and uh, you may you may want to have a monitor around uh, another thing well, uh, when you buy these cheaper LED projectors, you have to uh, you have to make sure that uh, you choose a model that has a good uh, good optics, good lens, because they may suffer from uh, lack of sharpness or uh, the uniformity of sharpness across the screen, uh, because they these projectors, cheaper ones, tend to use plastic lenses uh, and uh, the manufacturing quality is not exceptional and then when it comes to optics you, you really need precision and uh, quality engineering to make sure that you can actually have sharp image and the image will be sharp across the screen, uh, all the corners will be sharp. Uh, for this particular BenQ GP10 the sharpness is good as far as as far as the review reviews goes and the uniformity of sharpness is not perfect I have to say it's not perfect uh, I can get it uh, uh, like a, if I get one half of the screen perfectly sharp the one corner will be slightly 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 very slightly out of focus but it's not bad by all means it's not bad on this model I think there are a lot of projectors which are worse and if you want to use it as a computer monitor the sharpness is crucial because you will be reading text on it. Another, <coughs> another shortcoming is that uh, these projectors not necessarily have the highest resolution. Uh, this model has a 720p resolution uh, which, which which was good a year ago, <laughs> especially compared to earlier uh, regular uh, DLP projectors which weren't even 720p a uh, couple of years ago. So the 7, 720p is the absolute minimum that you have to have if you want to use it as a monitor. Anything below, no, no way, no way. I would, I would recommend 1080p but uh, these these projectors are probably more expensive because the, uh, the DLP chip for higher resolutions is obviously more expensive. Uh, that's logical. And um, what else on the negative side? Uh, if if you're running it all day, you still have to consider that. It's not like the LED projectors don't use any power at all. They still use quite a bit of power, a lot more than a monitor. Uh, this this one uses probably 120 watts, more than 100 watts. And as you can see, this 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 body is small, very compact, and it doesn't have a power brick. Uh, the power supply is built in. And uh, when you have this small plastic body with a built-in power supply that has to feed more than uh, 100 watts for 10 hours, a uh, couple of negative things <laughs> emerge. Well, the first one is you have to have, a, in a small body, a noisy fan, um, which is quite bad. <laughs> a monitor will not make any noise. This will. This will. And... Uh, not only that, but also it gets quite warm. Not that you have to touch it when you're walking with it, but uh, it gets warm and uh, actually this warmth uh, will may eventually damage 
some components in the power supply, as uh, happened to this, to my unit. It actually burned out. Uh, the power, the power board uh, g gave up the ghost and uh, with the uh, smoke and smell, and burned out and had to be replaced under warranty, because I, I, I suppose I was one of the, the the hardest users of this this particular model. Uh, the BenQ probably didn't uh, didn't envision that somebody would use uh, a projector like this for. 10 hours straight, almost every day, but yeah, I, I burned out the power board. And uh, yeah, they still use some power, a lot more than a monitor. But what are the good sides? Uh, the good sides are, first of all, the screen size. That's the, the most obvious. You can, with this 500 lumen one, I'm using it, uh, usually I'm making a projection of about 100 inches diagonal, 120 inches diagonal, and uh, in a dim lighting condition, it's perfectly usable uh, at that size. And if you want a 120 inch uh, monitor, um, prepare to <laughs> spend some money, <laughs> some big money. Uh, <laughs> you can probably buy, well, like 20 these projectors for that price. Of course, with the monitor you'll get much better picture quality and uh, viewability in, 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 in uh, daylight conditions and so on, but uh, still. If you want a big picture, if you want to share this picture with some people, or if you just want to spice up your room a bit and have some cool projections or uh, watch movies on a large screen, you, you cannot beat the projector. Another plus is that since this is an LED projector, uh, it uh, it has quite fantastic color, colors. They are very, very vibrant, very vivid, uh, thanks to the LED. And uh, not only that, but it also doesn't have the annoying uh, color wheel that uh, classic projectors used to have. So there's no flickering. The, the image is absolutely... Uh, absolutely still, uh, no flickering, no nothing like that, and at 60 Hz. This model, uh, GP10 BenQ, supports 120 Hz and therefore supports stereoscopic 3D, but at 120 Hz the DLP chip uh, doesn't work that well. It doesn't like such uh, high refresh rates uh, the image uh, gets a little, the colors lose, uh, the colors become washed out a bit, so I would say it's almost unusable at 120 hertz. But, uh, well, they can tick that checkbox and say, yeah, we have, we support stereoscopic 3D. Uh, but I'm sure that the newer models will support 120 hertz with good, with no loss in image quality. And uh, then you can really take advantage of 3D if you want, or just more responsive desktop even, because you can still feel 120 hertz and 60 hertz. As far as input lag for gaming, I wouldn't say that it's there's more lag than uh, a monitor or TV. I didn't, I, I couldn't notice any more lag. So, if I would recommend something like this to everyone, because not only can you have that large projection, you can also, this, it is very portable, as you can see in my hand. It's very small, uh, much more portable than uh, any monitor. So you can uh, move this around your house and uh, have a large screen on moment's notice in any room and uh, therefore the usefulness of it uh, is very high. You, you get a lot for the money. And uh, even if you want that high contrast, high quality, uh, plasma-like or CRT, or even if you're still using a CRT uh, as I do, you will still appreciate something like this around your house. Even if you are 
not into presentations and you don't need a projector for work or anything like that. So can you can you use it as a monitor? Definitely, definitely. And uh, with technology the way it is, uh, things getting better and better every year, uh, I suppose the contrast and the black levels and the uh, refresh rates and resolutions will get better and uh, then it will be then it will be even harder to uh, justify buying a large uh, LCD TV or monitor instead of a projector like this. So overall, yes, you can use it as a monitor, you can use it all day, just make sure it doesn't overheat and uh, I'm I'm very satisfied with this purchase.